Hello everybody, this is Matthew here, and I'm here with another commentary. Hopefully this will be a little more successful than my other commentaries, even though it is a console game. And I'm playing, as you can see, Dungeon of Doom. It's um, a game developed in Free Basic, which is um, not really one of the most popular programming languages, but it, it has a good community of followers, and I, I like to use it a lot. But I don't think you guys care about that. You care you care about the game. This is this is kind of a role playing game where there's this huge massive dungeon that you have to get all the way through and defeat I think his name is Laszlo or something. Like the <laughs> like like the cartoon character. Uh references references. Okay, so I'm here in the screen and I'll provide a link down in the description of where to get this game if you really like it. It's kind it kind of brings back kind of the the gist of of the old console games of ye olde days of computing I guess. I I don't really know. Let's let's just start playing the game. So I wanna begin a new game. Okay. So you can select the game mode that you want to do. Um there's the classic you find all eight treasure treasures in order to advance through the game. Open. You only need to find the cone of power and escape before the dungeon collapses. Oh gosh. <laughs> I've only played through this a little bit, so I don't know a lot about the game. Oh, the third mode. Classic mode. However, monsters on all floors have harder stats, making them more difficult to beat. And then new plus. A cross between open and the other one. However, your starting character is the lead character from your previous game, uh, which you must have wanted to select. Okay, so you have to already win a game to use the new option. So, uh, let's play a classic game. The Kingdom of Koras. Normally a serene and beautiful place, now faces an uncertain future. Dun dun dun! In the seventh year of rule of King Thomas Veter, I think that's the 11th, Mazo de Lama, that's not Lazo, Lazo, Mazo de Lama appeared from another world, intent upon the destruction of the world st oh, and the enslavement of those who survived. Mazo de Lama and his henchmen stole the badge of courage, courage, cross of spirituality, dagger of sacrifice, medallion of honor, sword of valor, codex of wisdom, staff of humility, and the cone of power. Upon stealing these treasures, Mazo de Lama was hid, hid, the, <laughs> has hidden them deep within a vast labyrinth of death known to the locals of Viterville as the Dungeon of Doom. Mazo de Lama has given Thomas Viter the 11th one year to hand over the rulership of Koras or face total annihilation. Dun dun dun! Okay, I don't need to add those stupid little sound effects. Six months have passed since then. In the remote frontier village of Viterville, many adventurers have come to attempt the retrieval of the stolen treasure, and none have succeeded. Most have died. Those who returned told rousing tales of the dangers within. Things have not been peaceful, however, as Mazo de Lama has destroyed several remote villages and terrorizes the inhabitants of others. Viterville has been left alone. Its proximity to the Dungeon of Doom and remoteness has offered it relative sanctity for now. Press enter to continue. A desperate plea for help has been, is issued by King Veter the Eleventh himself. I, King Thomas Veter the Eleventh, request all brave adventurers to enter the Dungeon of Doom and retrieve the eight treasures and through their power restore peace to the Kingdom of Koras. We have six months left before the end of our lives as we know it. Many adventurers have embarked on the journey into the dark depths, and few have returned. The situation is bleak. One day, you wander into the town of Viterville on adventure through Koras. After talking with the villagers, you ponder the idea of attempting this daunting tax, task, tax, task as foolish. But hungry for adventure and the potential for money and power, you take the road to the castle and present yourself before the throne. Adventurer, I give you permission to undertake this journey. 
I'm giving you 3,333 gold pieces. <laughs> what an interesting number. To equip yourself at the shows in town. Your first task is to locate and recover the badge of courage. I wish you the best on this mission on this mission, as no one else has succeeded so far, and time is short. CP is not recognized as an external Uh oh. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> uh oh, I think um our program is having a couple errors. Okay. Would you like to start the game as a monster from the first floor? No. Enter your character's name. Oh. Mattawi. <laughs> okay. So, status for Mattawi, new character. Condition normal, weapon hands, armor, loincloth. You, so I'm... Ugh. Okay. Hip... <laughs> Hit points 56 out of 56, magic points 33 out of 33, level 1 experience 0, next level in 1,661 uh, experience points, strength 7, max damage 8, the chance for a critical hit 5%, and uh, blah blah blah, resistance to paralyzation. Mm. Okay. Enter to accept. Select your character class. So, do we want to go with a mage, low strength, dexterity, and hit points, but very good at magic use? Or a fighter, very strong, good HP, but low dexterity and poor magic use? Good balance of strength, speed, and HP, fair magic use. Uh, below average strength and magic, high speed, fair to poor magic. Gains additional 20% gold pieces after combat. And then using a total of 4.5 points available, set each of the four ability modifiers to your liking. Hmm. I'll go with Hunter. I like things that are balanced. So we're at the castle. And you are in the throne room, the throne room of the castle. Do you want to talk to the king or leave for town? I'll talk to the king, see what he has to say. King, what must I do? I don't know. King, what must I do? <laughs> oh, God. Matterby, you must defend, descend into the Dungeon of Doom to find the Badge of Courage and bring it back here. I will reward you handsomely. You are in the throne room at the castle. Do you want to talk to the king or leave for town? I'd like to leave for town. And let's see, you are in the town square. North of here is a road to the castle. South of from here is a small plaza. East of here is the inn. West lies the adventurer's camp. I want to go to the adventurer's camp because the adventurer's camp, north of it at least, has stuff. Uh oh, I encountered the llama guy, whatever. <laughs> I'll just call him the llama guy. Um, I don't know. I'll just do auto battle. Um, gosh, fighting is a little weird. Oh gosh, fighting is a little weird in this game. Um, I haven't exactly gotten the hand of it, but I don't know. The Mazur the llama attacks always attacks my party with that fatal doomsday thing. And it doesn't affect me. Um, I might just skip through this part, actually. Dun. You collapse to the ground and look up weakly at Mazar de Lama. He kicks dirt on you and spits in your face, then laughs. God, what a pathetic weakling you are, groveling at my feet. You really think you have what it takes to find the cone of power? 
I don't think you have the balls to do it. Uh, good dialogue. Uh, you're going to roast in hell like the others before you. Give up now while you still live. I look forward to kicking your butt again next time. I should stop laughing. Okay, I'm at the adventurers camp. And east of here is the town square, south of here is the ladder down to the Dungeon of Doom, and I want to head north. The healer's hot. Oh gosh. Can I use the stats command? Darn it. Okay, let's go to uh, the healer's hut. Oh gosh, I have one HP. Um, I want to examine myself, so I type in one. And this isn't really a gameplay guide, it's more of just a, a, a playthrough, a let's play. So, I'll try to keep the commentary as interesting as possible, but so far I, it seems that the story has kind of given it given itself in the beginning and also throughout the rest. It'll be action-packed even though it is um, a console-based adventure game. So Matabee is not at full health. Heal for 20 gold pieces. I should do that. Okay, you thank the healer for his service. Uh, I want to press the zero to leave the hut. And I want to, I want to go to the armory. Um... One, buy weapon. I shall make the purchase. Um... Uh, I think, I think the club is my best bet, and for armor, I will make the purchase. Um, let's see, number seven is leather armor. I'd like to get, I'm gonna get leather armor. It seems like the best. Okay. Now what do I do to leave? I think just zero to leave. There we go. It's usually zero to leave. Um. Let's see. East the apothecary. Okay. So, I have 1,013 gold. The cost of items 1 to 14 is 33 gold each. The last three may be found after battle. So, I can't use the healing healing bomb, the revival bomb, or the magic bomb. Um, let's see. I don't know. I'll buy some antitoxin. I'll buy three of them. Um, I'll buy... Uh, which, is me which medicine? Number five. I'm using up all my gold pieces, but it is good. Because the first, the first time that I went into the Dungeon of Doom... Oh gosh, it was just terrible. I found like some sort of wasp thingy. I, I don't even know what it is. So I'm I'm just going through here buying three of what is probably the best thing. Oh, I'm gonna want torches. I'm gonna want a lot of torches. Um, fourteen. I'm gonna buy ten of those. Okay, now we're gonna leave the store. Um.